Capricorn, so this is going to be your reading for August 2024 and before I start just to let you know if you wanted to get a personal reading all my details are in the description box below on my website and the link is in the description box below. Okay so Capricorn, oh so first thing we've got is the sun rising, uh, they just said the sun rising and then they showed me the Ten of Cups, which is like a, um, well, basically the cups in the card, the Ten of Cups, look like the sun rising, because they're across like that at the top of the card, so it looks like the sun rising. That's about emotionality, relationships, happiness and home, and um, just how you're feeling in general and everything being tickety-boo and uh, everything in the right. It's a placement card, right? Ten of Cups is where everything looks for all right. In traditional meaning, that is comes over as a negative. It's like, oh, it can all look all right, but it's not all right under the surface. So it's like, you know, because traditional meanings always like to insert a bit of fear. However, um, it doesn't need to be fear-based, the understanding, and what they're saying is it's a placement. So it's like, yeah, it's looking all right, because it is all right. There's nothing wrong with that. Everything's kind of, they're saying all the I's are dotted and all the T's are crossed. So you have done your work. Now, you might have done your work around the home. If you have, that's energetic work, because even though it's manifest, it's always corresponding to the energetic, which is why this journey is such a bizarre journey of things having to be done in the physical framework that are only being done because of how it's affecting, because of how it's um, the energy is manifesting it. Anyway, <clears throat> I digress. Right, so Capricorn, all your work is done, they're saying. And um, you're moving on, you're moving on in terms of something's coming because your work is done. So your process is done and there's something coming now that's different to where you've been, like a different way of life is coming along. And they're saying opportunities for fun. Love, Ace of Cups. Fruition in the physical, seven of pentacles. So what's coming is coming from love. Four of pentacles. Now, something is about to drop from the tree. Something is about to arrive in your physical domain. Now, I feel like it's a new way of life coming along. Oh, two of cups, which is your twin flame. Death transformation so as far as where we are right now which is just before the new moon during these readings when the new moon comes on Sunday right now we're still in July on the 30th of July today um, so Thursday is going to be the 1st of August and that's when everything changes this is Thursday that's what they just said. So this is August. Um, that's why we've got the death card in the middle, right? Because it's not quite August yet. yet. And this reading's for August. So they're reading it for August. That's Thursday. And then when we hit August, which is the first, first of August, Thursday, we've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is the new moon. So we've got a period of transformation until you come out 5th, 6th August, that's, that's when they're saying the sun's rising, 5th, 6th August, starting then, they're saying it's all golden, let's have a look, 6 of cups reunion, so we've got twin flame reunion, 6th of August, King of Pentacles, 
four of pentacles manifesting into the physical now uh, transforming physical man masculine still here open till we go through the moon this is the moon right and five of pentacles separation still separated that's transforming and empress rebirth love being reborn post moon basically that's underneath devil drawing in what's coming in energetically closing in on you <laughs> Capricorn it's closing in on you uh, right now it's coming along right now but it's not manifested into the physical until after that moon right let's get one out on the death <sighs> there look eight of pentacles coming into the physical again You've got one, two, three, four, five cards of coming into the physical. You've got one, two, three cards of reunion. You've got what the, fru the fruition is, what's arriving, coming from the separation. Let's go on there, five of pentacles, have a look at that one. <sighs> Masculine energy. Physically separated, the masculine energy, mastery. So then he becomes the king of pentacles, masculine form. And uh, where do we need to go next? The devil. Let's go underneath on the devil. Again, into the physical. So you've got an, all these cards of what's coming into the physical is the masculine from the energy, separated, so only in energy right now, and then it's coming into form. Uh, let's get another one out, where are we going to go next? Let's just go on the Seven of Pentacles, fear, lessons in fear, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Mastery of fear. There it is, masculine. The separation is about mastery of fear. When you've finished mastering fear, and they said at the beginning you're complete, then uh, everything arrives back into the physical. What you're drawing towards yourself is healed as it moves into the physical. It's no longer coming from fear. It's coming from love. Love is reborn. Let's go on the Four of Pentacles. There, another card of it coming into the physical, Three of Pentacles. King of Pentacles there. Ten of Swords. Ending in the uh, death of the ego, basically. Healing of all fear. Fear is healed. Let's go on the loved one as well. Ah, uh, Ten of Pentacles, completion and reborn empress go with the flow nothing significant that you need to do this month apart from go with the flow um, you will be busy at the end of the month but right now entering into the void right the death card is the void so this is just uh, in a formless state you want to be formless throughout the moon so don't get involved in anything nitty gritty don't get you know up in your own head about anything don't if somebody sends you an email uh, with something that you've got to heavily think about before you answer the email just ignore it till after the moon because things are going to change anyway you probably find you it won't even need to answer it It'll just become null and void it won't be an issue anymore possibly around the home possibly that's where your completion of fear is coming from that, um, you know, they said the sun rising and they showed the Ten of Pentacles in my head. It's like around a home. It's like 
something that you think you're going to need to do around the home, think you're going to need to do, you don't need to do in effect. It will just be taken off your agenda because everything's going to transform over the moon um, as it comes into the physical. So you're going to have something brand new to deal with, like they said at the beginning, a new lifestyle which won't include you having to be bothered about anything in your current home or anything that's going on with that home or around that home or in regard to that home. Pain, Three of Swords, created through pain, is your Twin Flame reunion. Six of Cups, and it's shift, an ending, in effect, of the pain, right? So anything that's coming before this moon, on the 4th, this new moon, you can disregard for right now. Just wait till after the moon and see then, because you probably aren't going to need to even deal with it. It'll probably be like, you know what, I'm moving, it doesn't matter. Right, my whole life is about to change, or has changed now. And now I don't need to bother with anything that I bothered with before that was causing me any stress or worry or pain. Eight of Swords, because everything that's manifesting still at the moment is because of your Twin Flame connection. So you will still be getting these silly emails that make you go into your head and try to answer how you're going to deal with the thing that the email is presenting to you and the answer is don't deal with it <laughs> see how it evolves evolving in the death card over the moon you could laugh at it you could have some fun with it by ignoring it because you know and just stay out of your own ego stay away from the ego home it's coming up again look Guided, don't worry, clarity is coming, new beginning in the physical. Oh, Ace of Wands, complete new beginning. Moon, wait till after the moon, communication. All forms of communication, unless it's something like, I don't know, buying yourself a something or other on whatever it is, you know, because you want it, then have that. Oh look, there he is again, just jumped out. So that's who's coming along at the moon. <laughs> there we go. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Lots of love. Take care, bye.